in the first time I met Tom and the Channel 4 lads, I bought a, uh, I had a litre bottle of vodka eh? and I filled up with water. Mm. And I know what these journalists expect of who I am. I'm leading the English Fence League. So I've gone in the cafe. The coach is there. We've got a 50 or 60 seater going to Blackburn for a demonstration. Mm. Probably our third or fourth demo. It was when everything was going big, yeah? So I've walked in. I've got a paper bottle. I've gone in. I, it's a, it's a litre bottle of vodka, but it's water. Right? And I've walked out and the two new journalists are standing there. And I necked the water and I fucked the bottle. I said, it's in demo day. Yeah. yeah? I'm just, and all the lads like it. And I went over and shook both their hands. I said, all right, lads, how are you doing? I said, my name's Tommy. I'm just taking, and I was just taking the piss. But yeah. we get, and you can see what this is on their documentary. Not me ne necking the vodka, but we get on the coach and they say, what's the plan today? I said, I'm kicking it all off today. It's all kicking off. They said, what do you mean? I said, groups have tried to align themselves inside our movement. I know their names. They're the Northeast Infidels. I know who they are. They're the Northwest Infidels. They've not done enough to be kicked out publicly, but they are recruiting for the far right within our movement and our crowd. Yeah? So today we're going to put it to bed. You say, how are you going to put it to bed? I said, I'll show you when I get there. So I get up on stage and I call my mate up, Gurmit Singh. Gurmit Singh done more to break race barriers than anyone else. Gurmit Singh is a Sikh, was a Sikh leader of the English Defence League, a great lad as well. He's a I still hold him as a dear friend. Yeah? He's a brilliant lad, brilliant personality. And I've met, and I've got Gurum up on stage. He said, come here. And I hold his hand. I said, if you're in this audience and you don't like what you can see here, yeah? And, and I had to do this. Essentially, we'd ask the police, if anyone turns up, Dr. Martin, bomber jackets, don't let them in. If you've got intelligence at their national front and they're Nazis, don't let them in, or it's going to come to clashes. So I had to make the decision. I'm the leader of a street protest movement. Remember, I weren't a politician. Yeah? I'm the leader of a street pressure movement of mm -hmm. lads really, young lads. And we needed this divide. So I called Gurmit up and then I said, right, if you don't like what you see, this is, this is us. You know, this is my England, yeah? This is what we're standing for. If you are opposed to this, you're in the wrong crowd, lads, yeah? I said, I'm now going to read your names out. And, and I said, because I've been following you, yeah? So North East Infidels, Alan, can I mention his name? Alan Smith, show yourself, yeah? You racist little bastard. So I went through their N word this, N word that. They're going, that's totally against what I've been brought up with. So I said, show yourself. And then you see a big crowd and it's on the documentary. You see a load of them coming and they've all got Combat 18 t-shirts on, skull and crossbones. So as I come off the stage, these lads are from Newcastle. So I come, I come off the stage and my intention was to knock them out on camera in front of the world. I thought, we're going to town. And I told all the lads, we're fighting these lot today. Yeah? Mm. We're going to kick... We're, you wanted gonna... to show on the documentary that you were fighting against racists. Wanted to just... No, we wanted... I weren't bothered about the documentary. Yeah. I wanted to kick these f***ers out of our movement. It's sure. our movement. Yeah? Well, it's what we stand for. You lot, go. Right? Well, you're, you're, to me, you're the enemy. Mm -hmm. The same way these jihadists are the enemy. You're opposite sides of the same coin. You're the same shit. You got, you're going today yeah, and we're kicking off because we, they hadn't done enough. So we'd, we'd seen them looking at them thinking they, first of all, they, like the, the Welsh Defence League, they come dressed normally like lads. One demo, two demo, three demo. They're all in Dr. Martin's and bomber jackets. They're then wearing braces. They're, they're, they're then full on the own Nazis. But that we learned, again, pure, I always say purity comes with time. You've got to give an organisation. Every time we're on the street saying we're not racist, we want normal people, the media are telling everyone they are Nazis. So they're, they're advertising our organisation to Nazis. Mm -hmm. These scumbags, if they hold their own demonstration, will get 20 idiots, yeah? But they want to be in amongst thousands. And then they want to recruit off the thousands. So I stood up on stage, held his hand. I come off the stage and the first lad there was from Newcastle. Who are you? Alan Wack. I, I cleaned him out, Yeah. I got done for it. I cleaned him out. Then we come, we come off and, we, and they're all trying to get to us and it's all, all the crowds going mad and we come to the coaches. I come back by the coaches and there's about 30 of them waiting. They've got corkscrews in their hands and there's pictures of all this. It goes off. We fighting like fuck, yeah? The Channel 4, these, this posh kid who lives in a house with seven mm. other people, one's a trap, one was shagging the, oh. one was shagging the, one of the people in the house was shagging the Prime Minister of Pakistan, yeah? It's also up. But they live this mad little life, which is so far detached from the life I live. Yeah. So, but he was really nice. Tom was really, I really liked him, the kid. Mm. And then we get, and they sit down afterwards. We all get on the coach. Everyone's got blood on them. Everyone's battered. Everyone's like, fucking hell. And Tom's white. He's never seen probably anyone get yeah. punched. Tom's yeah. sitting there and he's just white. He goes, I can't believe it. I said, what? He said, you're fighting the far right. He goes, my house, my no one I know is going to believe this. Yeah. But do you know how the media portrayed that? English Defence League fight each other. That's, mm. that's what the headlines were. There was trouble on the streets and it's the English Defence League fighting each other. Now that decision to do that that day was the best decision I made for the movement because I then went home and made a video 
I said, well, you lot, it's on. Yeah. You see our next demo, it's on. Every time we see you, it's on. Yeah. Right? Because we weren't, as I said, we weren't polished politicians. We weren't anything. We weren't trying to be anyone we weren't. We were young lads, most of them up for it. And we wanted a protest against Islam and the Islamization of Britain. And then so, and I made that video and one of the lads said, uh, what was his name? Stevie Carroll? One of the lads, again from Newcastle, I made a video saying, listen, you've come to our demonstrations. It's all gone off today. Yeah. If you come again, it's going off every time, but we're now mobilizing all the groups because we had a good relationship with the West Midlands, the West Midlands uh, EDL, lads from Lanesfield, same as us. There was there was hundreds of us yeah, that would have been up for fighting the Nazis if they were coming.